Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Washington Senators and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Senators today is Jeff Volweiler, whose record is 8-12 with a 3.34 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is John Gelnar, whose record is 3-7 with a 5.23 ERA. Okay, another uh, frustrating loss yesterday. Uh, the score was tied at one, and we walked a batter, second base on a pass ball. No, went to, sec uh, went to uh, second base on a stolen base. Pass ball got him to third, and a balk scored the run, and they won two to one. That was it. Uh, I, don't, I mean, there's nothing I could do to combat that type of uh, programming. Uh, but we can just turn the page and move on to the final game of the Senators' uh, uh, three-game series. Uh, the last game will face the Senators this season, and then we hop on. <coughs> excuse me, we hop on the road and we go to uh, the Bronx to face the Yankees for three games. So that'll be fun. Uh, we'll play one game today. I was going to do a doubleheader yesterday. Um, unfortunately, I just didn't have the spare time to get two in. Uh, but we'll have a uh, solo game today. We'll do a solo game tomorrow, and then we'll do a doubleheader on Monday. I think that's the best way to to get through the Yankee series. By all accounts, we have to do two doubleheaders, and then we can just play it out. Um, and I believe, as well, I'm looking at the date, you'll see down here in the corner, uh, today's date is uh, the 16th. I think... By the time we get to this weekend coming up, I should have all the prizes for the final giveaway. Uh, so we'll, I will uh, alert you to what the prizes are, and we'll start taking participants for the uh, season's end uh, giveaway. And also, I believe if everything goes as planned, this weekend uh, I will start putting out the, uh, the division rundown for the 1985 Detroit Tigers season. Which is fun, uh, and, and uh, I, they always get tons of views. I don't know if people are just confused by what that content is. Um, you know, I know most of you know, uh, you know, like what I do uh, for the 1980, uh, for the Detroit Tigers series, um, but doing all the season uh, division previews. But I think people just see it and they're like, what is this? And they'll check it out. Uh, we got uh, Joe G John Gelnar starting today. Uh, the current Senator lineup batting 286 against him. Everybody is ready in the bullpen. We'll take a look at our lineup. Jeffrey Volweiler is a right-hander. We have our lineup in there versus righties. Uh, I'm watching the uh, Tigers spring training game on television here. And um, Jose Cruz... His son, Jose Cruz Jr., has a son who's on the Tigers. He plays shortstop uh, for us uh, in the minor leagues. I think he's uh, in double A and looks like a pretty decent player uh, in his own right. So maybe someday we'll th see the third generation of Cruz's in the majors. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at the Senators lineup. Looks like uh, they'll have a first baseman making his season debut. Batting leadoff. Playing center field is Ed Stroud. Batting second and catching is Jim French. Batting third at third base is Toby Hera. Batting cleanup at left field is Frank Howard. Batting fifth, making his season debut, is first baseman Billy Bryan. Batting sixth in right field is Sam Bowens. Batting seventh at second base is Bernie Allen. Batting eighth at shortstop is Ed Brinkman. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Jeffrey Volweiler. Okay, let's take a look here at John Gelnar. Gelnar making his 21st start. He's got three wins and seven losses. A 5.23 ERA, 55 strikeouts, and 105 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 296 against him. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44%. He's only got one good pitch, and that is the fastball rated an 81. Overall rated to 77, the 27-year-old righty is arbitration eligible after the end of next year. Take a look at his log. Oh my gosh, this guy has not given up a run in 10 innings. 
Uh, he's got only two walks and eight strikeouts. I mean, that's amazing for him, right? This feels like the game intentionally trying to get his ERA down to a respectable level. We'll know that for sure today um, if he pitches another five innings of no-run baseball. Here's the de defense today. Um, we have Rodriguez at third. Shortstop is Belanger. He's down a tick. He's only made four errors this year at short. And uh, they were two two-error games. So we'll see if that is a sign. Kelly at second. Johnson at first. The outfield is the normal guys. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's Bosch in center. We're giving AG another day off. And behind the plate is Dalrymple. Here we go, Ed Stroud. Uh, here we get off. This is John Gelnar. High fly ball into left field. And there's one down. Stroud is the one that scored the winning run yesterday. He pinch ran, stole second, pass ball got him to third, and then uh, scored on the balk. And that reminds me, I did look up uh, one of the uh, subscribers uh, had asked me, I forget which one, I think it was Lying Dog, and he asked me uh, who leads our team in box. The, the record in a year is Dave Stewart with 16. Uh, I trust that that's, that's a fact. And um, I tried to look it up, and there is no Bach stat available. But when we're done with the ball game, I'll mentally remind myself to show you the leaders in pass balls and wild pitches. And I have um, something I want to say about that, but it'll, it's be better suited for the, uh, the visual. One down, here is the catcher, Jim French, up at the number two spot today. Ground ball to third, Rodriguez, making the play. Two down, and Toby Hara, the normal leadoff guy in the third spot, will pop it up on the infield. That's 11 innings in a row for Gelnar, not giving up a run. That's amazing. You go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look here at the Pilots lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in left field is Jose Cruz. Batting second. In center field is Don Bosch. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup playing first base is Duran Johnson. Batting fifth and catching is Clay Dalrymple. Batting sixth at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting seventh at second is Van Kelly. Batting eighth at shortstop is Mark Belanger. And batting ninth is the pitcher, John Gelnar. Okay, here's Jeffrey Volweiler. We just uh, talked about him last week. As he is now making his 34th start, 8-12 and 12, with a 3.34 ERA. Way more walks than strikeouts. Insane amount of walks. Opponents only betting 224 against him. Uh, because of all those walks, I'd imagine. Eight complete games, one shutout. Fastball topping out at 90. Ground ball percentage right around 50%. The curveball is his out pitch, and the secondary pitch of the sinker is pretty solid at rated 82, overall rated in 85. The 24-year-old righty is arbitration eligible after next year. Here's his start versus the Pilots uh, two starts ago. Eight innings, gave up two runs, unearned. Three hits, two walks. Two walks at four pitchers given up 156 this year. So it was a no decision. And then his start versus Minnesota was a note season. So uh, he's really only had one bad game in his last five. That was against Baltimore, which is a tough team. Just up the road from uh, D.C. Okay. Here is the Senators' defense. Oh, they suck. Stroud in center field to 73. We know right field with Bowens is not particularly good. Infield looks solid today with the exception of first, which is... Billy Brian, and behind the plate uh, is the tough catcher Jim Franch. Here we go, Jose Cruz, the grandfather of the Tigers. Cruz rounds out to second. Cruz took an over yesterday to get his batting average down, and with the out there, I'm, I'm wondering now if the game is going to start uh, punishing Cruz for his batting average. Don Bosch getting a spot start in center. Finds a hole. Uh, gets a base hit. 
Should we go for two? I'm going to say no. Uh, if it were the uh, left fielder Howard, I might go for it. But with Stroud, not a good arm according to this game, but I, I don't feel like it's accurate. We've got Bosch at first for Joey Pep. Pep batting 289 versus righties. Fly ball to the left. Let's try to, well, let's see, 63% chance with French. I don't, I'd rather just let Dura, uh, Darren Johnson, I don't know why I call him Duran all besides Darren. Darren Johnson take a cut. O2. Ground ball to short. There we go. We go to the top of the second inning, and Frank Howard will lead it off. Frank Howard has been a thorn in our side. Gelnar strikes him off. Good job. That's the first K for Gelnar. Here is Billy Bryan. First at bat of the year. Popping it up. Foul ground. Third base side. Rodriguez. Next catch. Two down. Sam Bowens gets the start. It's been Jose Vidal for the first two games of the series. There's a ground ball. Belanger cuts it off. And makes the play. Holy cow, 12 innings in a row. We go to the bottom of the second, and Clay Del Rimple. You get off. Del Rimple, I think I'm going to re sign him for another year. The good defense and the occasional power is not a bad thing to have for a backup catcher. One down as he grounds back out to the pitcher. Rodriguez grounds out to second. And Van Kelly. Right shot. Smelly Kelly. We go to the bottom, uh, top of the third. Bottom third of the lineup. Bernie Allen leading it off. Romar walks the leadoff. That's always a problem. We'll pull third base in. I don't think Bill Brinkman's going to drop it like it's hot. But you know I like to uh, try to confuse the computer AI. Didn't expect that, did you? Line drive to left. Good play. We'll bring the corners in for Jeffrey Volweiler. He's batting 197. This is a pitcher that can hit. He has 15 hits and seven doubles. Nine sacrifices. That's pretty solid for a guy that I'd never heard of before. Corners in. Full count. Popping it up. Johnson coming in, making the catch. Allen gets back. Two down. Uh, we'd normally guard the lines here if it was later in the ball game. Something hanky is going to happen sooner or later. Yeah, ground ball to short. Roger. Getting it done. 13 in a row. Mark Belanger leading it off. Man, this is pathetic. The bottom part of our lineup. Rodriguez hasn't had a home run in a lifetime, it feels like. Gelnar walks a stupid. Good job, stupid game. Runner at first. And a base hit for Jose Cruz. Did Gelnar get to third? First and third, one down, Don Bosch. He had the first hit of the game, and the ground ball to first. Billy Bryan, not going to turn two. Runners advance, and it will be up to Joe Pepitone to drive those runs in. He's 5 for 15 in his career versus Volweiler. First pitch swinging, chops it out to left. Frank Howard making the play. Top of the fourth inning. Here's Jim French. Base hit. First one of the ball game for the Senators. Leadoff man is on again. Well, this feels like where it will end, right? I mean, it's got to end sooner or later. Ooh, a comebacker. Gellar turning and throwing it away. So that's it. We can now push the buttons to get this game over with. 
Well, that could be a double play. Oh, it is a double play. Well, maybe I counted my chickens. Let's see. I mean, Billy Bryan, this feels like the kind of schlub that would come in and ruin this for us all. Wild pitch, Balk. Full count. One nothing. The error would not have happened unless it was a getting out of hand. So there you go. That will likely be the final score. Darren Johnson with the base hit. The rimp. Uh oh. Jeez. It's a force at second. That leader strikes out. Top of the fifth. That was an unearned run, by the way, too. God, unbelievable. So he's not given up a run, uh, an earned run in 14 innings, which is just stupid. If the only reason the game is doing this is to get his ERA under five. There's no other reason for it. The guy's been god-awful all season, and now he's had three starts in a row where he's given up one earned run. So dumb. Well, I got alcohol. I'm drinking a little Irish whiskey as tomorrow is St. Patty's Day, and I am Irish, if you did not know. That's my heritage. A little sip of the good stuff. All right, here we go. Whew. I have no hope. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna take out Gelnar. He gave us his five. Oh God, I, there's nothing that we're gonna do to win this ball game. So, I am not really concerned. I guess I am a little disappointed that we've officially uh, guaranteed a losing season after last year. That is a bit of a bummer. Um, with the loss yesterday, that is. So that's kind of a shame. Oh, I mixed up the um, the bullpen because I thought I was going to do, do a double header. But we can bring the good guys in. I mean, we just have to make it up in our heads. So let's bring in uh, Ray Peters. I feel like we use him all the time, but he's only thrown uh, 25 innings. So we'll bring in Ray. High fly ball to center field. So this will be our 83rd loss. And I don't know if we're going to win another ball game. I mean, it's kind of... Frustrating. Billy Bryan not doing the only run. The guy never played all season. And he's going to get the game-winning RBI. Only the second walk for Volweiler. That's all he walked in the previous start. I mean, we could try to steal here. We're going to lose anyway. It's already been written, so why not give it a go? They pitch out. Because, of course, the game has to have a pitch out. All I did there was give him a guaranteed out. All right. Oh, I don't care. We'll leave him in there. What are we going to lose? Two to nothing? I thought that'd be a hustle double for Bowens. Well, he didn't have to have a hustle double. He got a stolen base. And it's 2 nothing. That's why I don't like bringing pitchers out for a second inning. There's just no shot that they'll get through two. Oh, they're going to bunt up two? That makes no sense. 
It makes no sense. They're bunting up two with runners on. They're giving up an out. That's so dumb. Let's bring Sexy back with Gary Timberlake. We don't need to pull the infield in. It don't matter. Three nothing. Oh, are they going to give this one? Yeah, they are. So Rodriguez with a double and then the error on Bowens. It won't be an unearned run, but this will be our one run. Oh, and it's going to be Belanger. The worst player on the team. Now it is officially unearned. God, this game sucks. We can't even get it. We can't even give us one. On our merits. Oh my god. All right. God, it's so bad. This game is so terrible. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, crap. Let's get a double play and get out of this. No, it's a strike out. All right. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we got to try one more time here. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I just... I just can't believe how dumb this game is. Oh, man. All right. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll, I mean, the gerb's been good. We'll bring the gerb in. Hello, I'm the gerb. I have an eye appointment after the game. Let's go. For a guy with a 74 rating, he's pretty good. All the two out rallies you can handle, and more. Yep. That's all this game knows is two out rallies. Now he's swinging. That makes. No sense either, but whatever. Sorry, Jerb. We had to take one for the team. We can't even get a, a run that's earned. We get swept at home by the Senators. Now, are they, no, they're in third place. Hmm. Um, let's bring in Earl Stevenson. You know, he has not been good. He's definitely not ready for prime time yet. He needs at least one more year of seasoning. We well, have him at double A, is that right? Yeah. He'll start next year in double A. We'll move him to triple A. Two out rally. Let's go. Two out rally. Oh, yep. All right. Another complete game for Jeff Volweiler. Four hitter. And he walked four. And it comes down to frickin' Belanger. This guy's gonna roll over like a turtle. No, they pitch around him to get to 
the pitcher with two outs in the ninth. That's dumb. But no surprise. Um, you know what? Let's give it to Greg Pryor. Pryor has, is 0 for 11. Maybe he's been saving it for this moment. There it is. Major League first hit for Greg Pryor. Darold coming in to get the save. 2 0 count. And that's the ball game. This game was over before it ever started. Oh, Brubaker is done for the year. The gerb is going to miss five days. We get the gerb back. Well, he's got five days to go and take care of his glaucoma, I guess. That's good for him. Work on those cataracts. Get LASIK. Um, God, this game sucks so much ass. Oh, hey, look, at we're officially in last place. That is actually really good. I have no problem with that. Uh, it's just how we got there, right? That's the part that is just pathetic. Um, okay, well, oh, I, okay, so I was going to show you this. Let me show you. Let me learn you something. Uh, look at sortable stats. Look at all the schmoes. Spread them. We only care about these final two stats here. Wild pitches. Okay, so Sam McDowell leads in wild pitches. And you see the descending amounts here. Okay, uh, I'm going to come back to this. Take a look at past balls. All the balls that have passed. Uh, Elrod Hendricks has 14. Now, this doesn't seem like a lot, right? I mean, in theory. I mean, there's only so many catchers in so many games. And all the games are simmed, except for the games that we play, right? So we have 162 games we play a year. Looking at this, I say to myself, self, this is not a lot of pass balls. Uh, why do they happen so much? Why is there like one per game uh, when we play one-on-one -on -one in, in one pitch mode, and yet there isn't nearly as many as you might think there would be in totality based on what we've seen in the one pitch mode? So I go back and I look at the wild pitches. These pitches got wild. There are girls gone wild. There we go. Right? And, oh my God. There's a shit ton. Um, and there's obviously more pitchers than, than, than catchers. I mean, that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make here is that, again, you would think that there would be more than uh, nine pitchers with ten or more wild pitches the way the game performs when we're in one-pitch mode uh, because there is, like, one per game or more. And so... My hypothesis is that the actual gameplay, which we know sucks so much, you know, is not indicative. It's not similar to what would happen if you just sim two games. So the flaws, I, I don't know, like if you were to just, I've never done it before. I've never just taken a season and simmed it to see what the stats would be. And you have to probably do it over and over again, you know, enough times that you kind of get the idea, and then compare it to what the final stats are for a team that you actually play as. Like, what would the what would our pilots team be like if we just simmed the season? Would they be sixty two and eighty three? Maybe they would, but would their you know average home runs and ERA be the same? I, I don't know. I mean, there's no way to know. But I, what I do know is that when you play in one pitch mode. Um, it is not the same as whatever the game simulates for the other teams. The Giants are now um, eliminated. So, um, so our season is officially over based on uh, being eliminated today. Uh, we've lost five in a row. We're two and eight. And uh, we have the worst record in the American League. And we could... If we continue to fail and Montreal 
continues to win, we could actually get the number two spot back uh, for the draft, which would be great. I have no problem with that. Headline news. This game sucks. Transactions. Oh, yeah. Nobody but our guys. Everybody is sucking the pipe. Bruce had a great year. He made 20 starts, 123 in the third innings. Um, I wish I could say he finished on a high note, but there is no high notes for our team. He did go seven innings, giving up one run that last start, and that was enough to send him into oblivion. Now, he will, he will be back next year, and uh, he'll, he will definitely be in the rotation right out of the gate. Not that he gets any wins because the game doesn't allow starting pitchers to win. The gerb will be back in five days. I'm not overly concerned. We just don't have enough righties. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. 4-1 loss. John Gelnar will get the player of the game, which is more of like an accumulation of three starts. He went 15 innings, giving up one run, zero earned. Um, really a nice stretch. Who will take over that starting role? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. That'll do it. Okay, we're going to come back uh, tomorrow with a solo game against the Yankees. Until then, everyone, have a great day.